Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you me this cloud. It's all in the sky. Hey rap fam, welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded to this channel since Black Friday of last year, Bruh. but I am back. All is good. I just been super, super busy. I'm actually in the studio right now, as you can see from the background, and I'm working on the next head wrap collection for the shop. I actually just released a scrunchie collection last week. I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys can check that out in the meantime, but I'm working on the next head wrap collection, which I actually already started, but I have to finish it. So I decided to pick up the camera and show you guys my head wrap collection process from start to finish. So before I prop you guys up on a tripod to watch me work, I will show you what I have ready so far. Okay, so here is my sewing table. And here are the head wraps that I'm working with. It's just a small pile for the sake of this video. And here are the head wraps that I completed. So all of the head wraps that are cut, actually this is step two. The first step of my head wrap collection or the head wrap process is to cut the fabric because I get the fabric wholesale and I have to cut them in the dimensions of head wraps. So these are already cut and the next step is to hem the raw edges. So we're on step number two. So here's the raw edge that I hem alongside all the way around the head wraps. And here is the finished product. So all head wraps get nicely hemmed and I like to use a color thread that is in the print of the head wrap. So there's some white in here. So I figured the white thread will look really pretty with this. And I also use white thread on this one as well. So I'm gonna prop you guys up on a tripod and I'm gonna sew some wraps and we'll work on, I guess, step three after I finish sewing this batch. I 
Okay, wrap fam, so I am done hemming the raw edges of the head wraps. And now I'm going to move on to step three. And that is to clip off these little pieces of thread that is sticking out. Let me see if you guys can see. There we go. See these little pieces of thread? So I go alongside the entire wrap and I clip them with my little scissors before I move on to step number four. So let's begin. These are snippers, they are scissors, and I use them when I'm sewing at my sewing machine and when I'm cutting off the little threads off the head wraps. So I use the smaller one when I'm cutting off the little threads. So that's what I'm gonna use now. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. We can get away. I'm just beach fuels in the night day. All I wanna hear is an vision that we play. Sitting next to you. finished snipping off the little threads around the hem of the head wraps and now I'm moving on to step four so before I take product photos for the website I iron the head wraps and I have a pile here one of each style and I'm just gonna iron these and then we'll move on so I turn the head wraps inside out before I iron And I also use a spritz bottle of just water to help take out the creases. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now.
Okay, so I just finished ironing the head wraps and now I'm going to take my flat lay product photos before I style them on my mannequins. And yes, I take my product photos, well, my flat lays on the floor. I can take it on the table, but I don't know. I just feel more comfortable on the floor. We'll see how long this lasts. pictures of the flat lays of the head wraps on the floor and now I'm about to style my two mannequins with the head wraps and this is all part of step number five is taking product photos so let's begin oh before I begin I wanted to show you the wigs so I have interchangeable wigs that I use on my mannequins I have a this is like a kinky curly they call this a lock wig but it's not a lock it's like a comb coil um, wig and I have it in a bun I'm just gonna keep it like that for the style purpose and then I have a soft wavy wig this one is really cute and then I have six wigs so that's two then I have a braided wig 
right? Then I have, this is more of a kinky, a kinky wig. Cause this one is more comb coils. And this is the kinky one. And then I have a bob with a bang. Of course you can't really see it with me holding it in my hand, but you'll see it better once I put it on the mannequins. So this is a bob, this is the bang, that's the bob. And then last, I have a pixie cut. This is for, you know, anyone with a short haircut. So this is the pixie wig.
think I need you here I swear it's time to keep these feelings to myself Now you're the one I'm thinking of My higher grandma I get love For gravity I'd rather stay up here We can get away Palm cheese beach feels on it Okay, so I am finished taking the product photos on my mannequins with the head wraps. Now I'm moving on to step six, which is to edit all of the photos, the flat lays and the photos that I just took on my mannequins. I'm not going to record that because I'm going to edit it on my phone. I use Photoshop and then I use Canva to um, change the background and you'll see them. I, I might pop some up on the screen. So I'm going to do that now and eat because I'm hungry and then I will probably pick back up at step seven, which is to add them to the website, the back end of the website. So I'll see you then. Hey y'all. So I am back. I finished editing the photos and now I'm moving on to step number seven and that is where I upload the photos to my Shopify site. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let come in this cloud. It's all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. Usually I don't do this often. But since recruit so now i'm gonna go to my shopify site and i'm in my admin portion of the website now here under the media i'm just gonna add my files And you can bulk add, so that's a good thing. And then they all appear in your store. And then after this, what I do is I weigh all of my head wraps on my scale. I have my scale right here, so you guys can see. I weigh them and add the weight to the product page so that I don't do that every time I prep my orders. It's already calculated, so what I do is I put the orders together, print the packing slip, and then print the shipping label and ship out. So I'll do that off camera when I finish uploading the pictures. And I also add the quantity of each style head wrap as well. I'm gonna do that off camera after I finish. So after I upload the pictures, do my measurements, weigh each head wrap, add the quantity for each, then I start prepping my marketing emails and work on my social media content with the footage. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare.
all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i am going to continue working but that is the end of my head wrap process hope you enjoyed the vlog and i will see you in the next one you can achieve anything you want don't let nobody say you can't wait